Welcome back again, rum lovers. Today, we're gonna go to one of the big boys of Foursquare premise. All right, guys. So early in my rum reviewing career, I started off with the Dollies, and I did the XO and the Twelve Year. For some reason, I shied away from tackling the big boys, which I've had honestly for quite some time. So this is premise which is the exceptional cast number eight. So every year they bring up more and they make them exceptional cast. I think they might be probably in the teens, probably like about 14, 15, somewhere around there. Um, but every year they bring this out. This one was released in 2018. It's called Premise. Cast type, Bourbon and X Sherry, 10 years old, pot and column still. All right, so Foursquare. For anyone who is into ROMs, they know about Foursquare. Uh, for those who are not, Foursquare is a small rum company in Barbados. Richard Seal is the founder, owner, master, blender. And he definitely says he's small from the, the few interviews I've seen with him, right? But definitely rum circles, he is big time, right? Um, Foursquare, one of Barbados's four distilleries. Um, they do mainly pot column blends i think almost everything's a pot column blend to me it seems more column and a little pot sprinkled in there uh, but definitely highly rated in the rum community right but let's get into the packaging packaging all the bottles are the same literally this bottle the dollies bottle all the bottles are the same from them just the presentation on the labels and stuff are different um, they give you a lot of information Product of Jamaica, <laughs> lie. Product of Barbados, 92 proof, four square rum distillery. Um, the name, premise, single, blended rum, the cast type, the aging, the distillate, the release date, right? Everything's on there and exceptional cast. On the back, it says premise, a blend of rums from the artisan pot distillate, distillation and traditional twin column, continuous distillation of four square age for 10 years in ex bourbon and ex sherry cars authentic rums no sugar or color other or other flavors has been added all right so had this for some time been drinking for some time honestly i don't have that many four squares and this has been one of my favorites right and i want to pour this let it breathe I think one thing that was said that wasn't really mentioned like how long is it finishing they just said it's um, finished in sherry cast but in reading up I read on the fat rum pirate and he had given like a specific time so he said premise was aged for three years in ex-bourbon then transferred for to ex sherry cast and matured for a further seven years so honestly this is more sherry than just a finish this is pretty much it's, it's not a finish at all it's x bourbon and x sherry and x sherry is a lot more on there 46 proof definitely um it's good like on the nose i poured it i smell the sherry immediately and this is why this is one of my favorite four square rums all right so swirl it around let the legs develop it's only a 10 year right so you don't expect crazy thick legs on there but you do expect some good legs on there especially at the higher proof of 46 percent not crazy high proof because right now i think a lot of his new stuff i think the yearly releases are in the high 50s like 56 to 59 all right i have a couple of those i have the 2005 two bottles of that and i'm probably gonna get the 2009 I'm gonna do a review on that soon i'm gonna honestly start pumping out some more four square rum reviews all right so legs are coming down very slowly very thick legs on this so i wish you'd even give like the ester counts and stuff on this stuff it's not really high but they are definitely a good bodied rum there's some thickness there's some some oils there's something in there that even at a 10 year the legs are crazy slow like they're barely moving it's very pretty to watch honestly so that's already wetting my appetite and get to the nose 
cherry, orange peel, some fruitiness there. It's a bit hot on the nose, which is surprising. I didn't expect any kind of heat, but honestly, I'm kind of tearing up in the eyes. Mm. There's some woodiness there. It's a bit, it's a dark chocolate type or bitter, a bit of coffee type thing somewhere down and deep in there. Mm. Very good on the nose. All right, let me get into the taste. Mm. Wow, so sweet sherry is there. It's a bit hot going down. I took too big of a gulp there. It's a bit drying on the palate. Um, and there, slight bitterness, tobacco. Coffee, molasses, but definitely it's one of my favorites. I don't know why I started with one of my favorites of the four square blind, but there's something that definitely are just okay to me, right? I know everyone loves them, but to me, some of them are just like it's a hype, right? This is not a hype to me at all. The premise is legit. I don't know the the higher proofs. We're gonna get into the higher ones later on, but forty six percent is a really good point. The sweetness, the flavors, it's just so smooth. You know, heat or no heat, it is just a delicious combination. Honey, butterscotch, sherry, cherries. It is so good. I could drink this all day. In fact, one of my favorite things to do is kind of like mix this with. I like. I never mix this. I was thinking about the 2005. Um, but yeah, definitely, it's a great rum. So, Rum Tastic has a review on this. Let me see if he says. Let me see what he says. He says. On the nose, definitely pour a four, a four square into the glass. You need to get coconut, vanilla, caramel, and clove on the nose. Let's see if I can get that. Okay, vanilla. I can get the vanilla. I don't know if I'm getting coconut. I get some spiciness. Is that clove? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm getting clove, and I'm not sure if I'm getting coconut on the nose, but he also says. Cherry wood, warm, warm leather, figs, raisins, plums. The plums, the raisins, yes. Figs, mm, I don't know. Warm leather, yes. Sherry wood, yes. I'm not sure what soft it is, but I think he. A lot of the things that he said I got. Um, don't know what soft is. Don't really get figs. Maybe I'm not too familiar with things. He talked about some black pepper corns, fresh licorice root. Uh, I did say spicy, so black pepper corn. Um, talking about orange, something I, I spoke about in the beginning. You know, I'm always happy to compare to some of these other rum reviewers and see if we're on the same path. Some things I didn't get. He said varnished wooden furniture. Mm, didn't get that. I did get some wood in this one. Spanish woody furniture. I don't know. You know, some guys get a lot of notes. I honestly that's why I want to start writing stuff down and I have a book for that. Um, you know, so it's definitely one of those things that I wanna document, wanna document and see what exactly they're experiencing because he mentioned a lot of things here. Spicy, so I talked about the heat. It's a dry and tannic. I did say it was drying on the palate on my cheeks. Dark chocolate. He got that sherry notes, he said dry roasted peanuts not so much cold tea dates currants so some of the fruits i was i was thinking about thinking about cherry cherry um a little engine oil type note 
Mm -mm. And then like licking the back of an of an envelope stuff. I don't know if this guy is the same guy um, from Different Spirits, Scott Ferguson, because a lot of the stuff he says reminds me of stuff that Scott says, right? Um, but definitely, again, I really love going through some of these expert tasting notes. You know what other bloggers who've been drinking rums for a long time, what they're saying. Um, definitely has a lot there. I did see the, the chocolate, did see the sherry. Um, leather i could get that but the the envelope licking and all of that you talked about the black pepper yeah you got a little black pepper on there you know a bit of the spiciness and then for the finish he said medium shorter than he was hoping for spicy there too uh very dry it was very dry to me tonic breakfast tea dark chocolate pencil lead wow where does this guy get these notes then he gets the, the sherry dried fruit which i got that uh, raisins plums got that got the dry got the I got this the dry the spicy and the fruits you know so definitely I think I was more than 50% of I got more than 50% of what he got but definitely it is a delicious rum so that was from rum tastic blog I'm not even sure who this guy is but I could definitely say that I agree with most of what he's saying mm. So this was released in 2018 it is so that sherry just gives you a nice sweetness before it lends its way to the wood the dry the little bitter chocolate note like so there's a ton of chocolate note right i think he said like 90 percent chocolate or something like very dark chocolate i really didn't get that like to me it's just like about 70 percent chocolate where you get the you get the chocolate flavor you get a little bit of bitterness but it's not like overpowering like i'm a dark chocolate fan and 90 percent is just too much for me as much as i like dark chocolate like the 70s is the sweet spot get to 80 going a bit beyond the sweet spot and then my 90s like bro no you know just create that thing and make some chocolate tea or something um some milk chocolate whatever whatever the Americans say um, but definitely um, this is just this is definitely one of my favorites of Foursquare and the, the the sherry finish in general just it's just what I like I really like that um, there's a couple more sherry finish ones that came out I have not gotten them as yet um, but there's so much rums from all over the world and I just don't like just being one of those four square collectors, right? I almost got myself into it, but I was like, nope. Um, I'm buying Appleton Hearts collection. I'm buying, you know, the Long Pond. I'm buying Hamden, which are all Jamaican. I love Jamaican rums. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy one of those plantation Fiji's I just tried. It's really good. Um, what is that? I just pull the trigger on? Um, Port Moran, um, the Hamilton bottle, and I'm also gonna get me the Eldorado bottle. Uh, I'm definitely, you know, like I just like trying things from all over, so I'm not gonna be one of those people that just invest a ton of money into the four square rums. It's just no way, right? The 2005, 2009, I'm gonna review those. Um, I gotta sample the Sagasi and stuff like that. So, but I'm rambling on, getting off topic. Premise is a great rum uh price point i'm pretty sure i got a premise on sale for about 60 bucks that was like a year ago maybe two years ago but you can't really get it right 2018 they only produce so many bottles it's always limited release with the four square stuff do they put the bottle numbers no but typically four square releases a few thousand right nine thousand five thousand stuff like that this person did not focus on that and most people who review roms they don't focus eh, some do some don't right um but definitely it's only a couple thousand for each release i was able to find a port podcast one time i bought from three bottles uh my friend wanted one another seller wanted one end up selling every single one of them never got to try it, but whatever right um 
long story short premise is it a must must try must buy must have and let me explain must try is yeah you know if you get an opportunity to try this room you should try it see if you like it and only then should you go out and try to get a bottle right a must buy means you must buy the bottle and really experience the fullness of the bottle throughout because sometimes you just open the bottle it's kind of dry as it opens up air it a little bit it gets a bit sweeter you get different flavors and oh man you know i really kind of like this from a grown right and then a must have is that you should have a bottle in your cupboard all the time all right this is a must have you must have this bottle in your bar all the time because i kid you not i bought this I gave out a few samples and I drank all the way down and then I kind of forgot about it not because it's a bad rum but because I buy so much rum right so it just got left in the back there and a lot of times like a rum gets left in the back and you know when you take it out it's like well you know it was okay but you know because your palate has evolved you've tried so much new rums it just kind of it it, it it lost its shine in your eyes right this has not lost any shine in my eyes. It's been over a year that I've had it and I still love it. It is still one of the best four square rums in my mind. Right? I could be wrong. I know they're gonna people who's like, no, no, the oh man, the tough names they have, the Chablouble and the, the, the Redoubtable and the everything else, they're so great or whatever. I would disagree right definitely disagree um premise is great i think any one of the sherry cast finish ones that he has is probably great uh, but i love the special finishes hands down way more than just the bourbon finish ones it's it's a it's a no-brainer so the bourbon finish ones are just typically the ones with the the numbering 2005 2007 8 9 whatever right he brings us out every year and they're pretty much variations of the same thing and you know if you like bourbon cast stuff you like um you like bourbons you like whiskeys you're gonna like those those are the people who love that rum really likes like you know those other spirits we shouldn't mention them at all right um but definitely this is a great one a must have and if you could find it anyway pick up couple bottles man it's worth it right and i got mine to 60. i think some people still sell for like 80 bucks and more it gets a bit tougher when you get up in price honestly and that's why i'm just never too crazy about just trying to get every four square because you know it, the price is up there right but they do give a great product the presentation is really Kind of regal kind of old school stately vintage it just rubs you like the queen of england type of vibe um so you know that is what it is but really enjoy the presentation of it really enjoy the drink and uh, definitely it never skipped a beat ready set wrong taking around the world one wrong at a time cheers